Hi, Mariano. Hi, Gabi. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. How are you? Fine, teacher. That's good. How was your vacation? Um, fine, <laughs> but I don't have work today. <laughs> I know, I know. I think it's the feeling of everybody. Yeah, it's very hard to start. To I know. Work. <laughs> I know, Mariano. Yes, I think vacation should be longer. Yes. <laughs> yes. It was good. It was good. I mean, most of the time I was home, but it was good. Yeah, I don't really like to go out much. Um, it's too crowded. So I just we went out at the very beginning of the vacation. After that, we were just home. All right, very good. Gabby, can you hear me, Carlita? Yes, teacher, I'm sorry. Good evening. Good evening. That's okay, Gabby. No, don't worry about it. <clears throat> Daniel is coming in too. Hi, Danny. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? How are you? Nice, nice. At home. <laughs> At home. Very good. I know. I know. Very good. I'm sleeping all day. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> How was your night shift? No, relax. No, no, no. I'm not. Relax. No, no, no. It's not a lot of work. Oh, that's nice. Just relax. Yes, yes. It's nice. <laughs> yeah. All right. Very good. Nice. Nice to hear, my, um, Daniel. And thank you for being here. All right, guys. So we're going to begin uh, just reminding you that this is the last week. All right. So this is the last week of the intermediate level one. All right. Friday. Eh, igual, para los que ya vienen con nosotros desde antes, el viernes se va a hacer la encuesta. ¿Verdad? De satisfacción que siempre realizamos. Recordarles que no la hacen antes, la hacemos acá. All right. Para tomar una captura de pantalla cuando usted ya le dé enviar y ya queda eh, nada más registrado que usted la envió. ¿Verdad? Entonces eso es importante para llevar un registro. Acuérdese que <coughs> esta encuesta es para cerrar el módulo que estamos terminando, no para aperturar el siguiente. ¿Verdad? Entonces, en el caso, menciono esto porque de repente eh, pensamos que es para iniciar el otro, ¿verdad? Y usted está pensando tal vez no seguir, no es para iniciar el siguiente, sino que es para cerrar este que estamos terminando. Así es que es importante que la realicemos porque también es un requisito, ¿verdad? Así es que eh, nada más eso, recordárselos. Igual, otro ratito que estemos la mayoría, lo voy a recordar, especialmente para los compañeros que se nos unieron en este módulo que tal vez no sepan sobre la dinámica de la encuesta. All right? Así es que eso vamos a hacer viernes y entiendo yo que vamos a tener un poquito de, de descanso. No sé si ustedes tienen fecha tentativa por ahí, Daniel, no sé. ¿No les han dicho nada aún? No, pinche, por el momento no. Ok. No he recibido nada. Okay. All right. Supongo que ya tipo, tal vez mañana, miércoles, ya empiezan como a a darnos noticias de más o menos cuándo se iniciaría el siguiente, ¿verdad? Pero por lo general se descansa un ratito. Very nice. A ver, veo a Ever. Hi, Ever. Los demás no los veo. ¿Qué pasó? All right, están por ahí. Quizá anda bien bronceado de, de la vacación todo, ¿verdad? Buenas noches, teacher. Ya no, se, ya no se conocen, ya no se conocen. Yo creo que se fueron a bronceo <risa> todo, Dani. <risa> <Hey>. <risa> Hi, Gaby. Thank you. Gaby, le podemos ver la bronceada, Gaby. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you, Gaby. Very nice. Okay, Trini, ya le hizo mensaje. Thank you. All right. Carlita, igual, cuando pueda. Mariano and Doris, yo sé que va de camino. All right. Yes. Okay. Okay, Doris. No se preocupe. All right, guys. Very good. So, thank you, Mariano. Ya lo veo también. Very nice. So, last... Um, 
no last week, sino que the, the week before last, all right, so like two weeks ago, we were talking about unit three y nos hizo falta nada más cubrir dos páginas de la unidad tres para dar cierre a la unidad tres y ya empezar con la unidad cuatro. Igual no era nada gramatical, es más, nada, es más vocabulario, so we're going to see that right now. Eh, voy a esperar un ratito más para empezar a tomar asistencia. So right now, guys, I'm going to share my screen with you. And it's here. Debbie, ya la veo. Hi, Debbie. Good evening. All right, so here. This is, we finished this, guys, last, um, last week. I mean, two weeks ago. All right, so we're just going to finish this um, reading, page 31, um, page 32 of your books. All right, estamos siempre en la unidad 3. All right. ¿Me siguen ahí? Yes? All right, very good. So, no. Yes, teacher. Thank you. It says, I will be able to discuss advantages of employee surveillance programs in restaurants. Identify key information about the advantages of employee surveillance program in a reading passage. Number one. A ver, Ever, para darle la bienvenida a Ever, can you read number one, please? Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's start. How would, how would you define an inadequate crisis management plan and could a lack of communication cause a crisis management plan to fail in mitigating financial loss? All right, financial, financial loss. All right, thank you. Fina financial loss. Yes, okay. very nice. So how would you define in an inadequate crisis management plan? Could, uh, could a lack of communication cause a crisis management plan to fail in mitigating financial loss? All right, so, ya vamos a regresar a esas preguntas. Let's go right now with number two. Um, it says, hay un micrófono abierto si me ayudan con ese porque es como, como se escucha como bien. Number two, thank you. It says, read the following passage about surveillance technology. All right, vamos a ver. Debbie, igual para darle la bienvenida. Debbie, Debbie, can you please read paragraph number one? Gabby, paragraph number two. And. Uy, no sé por qué los demás tienen la camarita apagada. No sé si está por ahí. Trini y Doris, sé que no están. O sea, que van de camino. Eh, Mariano, can you read the last paragraph, please? So, Debbie, can you start? Okay, teacher. Uh, most of the public discussion of surveillance technology and its use revolves around the question. It is spook, spooky, spooky, or reassuring. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Reassuring. <laughs> Actually, but a difference use issue, issue, issue is the effect of surveil surveillance okay. on the high behavior. And a new research paper shows in dental how significant, significant the surveillance effect can by the researches research miss miss joy de mi que le pasó miss, de mi que le pasó <laughs> the impact of the software that monitor employees level the and sales the re, ay ya me perdí sales transition transition before and after the technology was interest installed installed at the okay? 392 result result in 39 start very good Debbie no se preocupe estamos regresando de vacación 
All right. Es <laughs> para, para desenrollar la lengua. Very nice. Gaby, continue. Employee theft and fraud is a big problem, estimated up to 200 billion a year across the economy. Economy. Uh, most of the restaurant industry pays its servers low wages and they depend on tips. Employee re replacement is high. In the environment, a cer certain amount of them has long been regarded as a normal part of the business. A simple example is a bartender not ch charging for a round of drinks and urging to cost the customers to take care of me with a large tip. Other tactics are more elaborate. Elaborate. I'm not sure how to pronounce that word. Elaborate. Yes, that's okay. All right. Veamos, Mariano. Can you continue, please? Yes, sure. But monitoring software is now available to track all transitions and detect suspicious patterns. After the installation of the monitoring software, income per restaurant increased by an average of two. 9082. <laughs> 2,982. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they were began monitoring the server not only pulled back on any authentic practice, but also channeled their offer efforts into say probing customers to have that dessert or a second beer. All right, thank you. All right, was it difficult? Debbie, was it difficult? Yes, a little bit? A little bit. All right, very good, okay. Um, don't worry about it. De repente hay como varias palabras que o nunca hemos visto o no estamos como muy familiarizados o we really don't know what they mean. All right, so let's let's read it again slowly but surely. All right, it says most of the public discussion of surveillance technology and its use revolves around the question: is it spooky or reassuring? But a different issue is the effect of surveillance on behavior. And a new research paper shows in detail how significant the surveillance effect can be. The researchers measure the impact of software that monitors employee level theft and sales transactions before and after the technology was installed at 392 restaurants in 39 states. Employee theft and fraud is a big problem, estimated up, estimated at up to 200 billion a year across the economy. Most of the restaurant industry pays its, ser uh, its servers low wages and they depend on tips. Employee replacement is high. In that environment, a certain amount of theft has long been regarded as a normal part of the business. A simple example is a bartender not charging for a round of drinks and urging the customers to take care of me with a large tip. Other tactics are more elaborate, but monitoring software is now available to track all the transactions and detect suspicious patterns. After the installation of the monitoring software, Income per restaurant increased by an average of $2,982 a week. Knowing they were being monitored, the service not only pulled back on any unethical practices, but also channeled their efforts into, say, prompting customers to have that dessert or a second beer. All right? A ver. I want you to, um, I want you to, right. en lo que estoy tomando asistencia, quiero que lo vuelva a leer usted solito y solita ahí en su casa donde usted esté. Tratemos de entenderlo y veamos ahí, like some vocabulary that you don't know, all right? Tienen en lo que tomo asistencia, all right? Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. 
Hola, Claudita. Dígame, Claudia. All right. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Very good. Ahí está presente. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Debbie Jasmine Girón Ramírez. Ok. Ya. Present teacher. <laughs> Domingo Alexander González. Domingo. All right. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Johnny, Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Carla. Carla Benacir Lara González. Por ahí viene Carlita Temprano. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Oh, thank you. Linda Stephanie Ramirez Abrego. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present teacher. Manuelito. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Vicky Dinora mm -hmm. Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Mar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Thank you, Vicky. Luis Mar. Walter Omar Casale. Present teacher. Present. Ah, Vane. Thank you. Omar. Uh, Walter Omar Casale Perlera. Present teacher. Oh, thank you. Julio César Vega Aguilar. Eh, Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. All right, Victoria Maria Vasquez Juarez. And Joanna Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. All right, very good. Okay, vamos a ver. I want you to tell me some of the words that you may not have understood. All right, or, well, yeah, let's look, let's look at that. A ver, on the first paragraph, guys, did we find any difficult words? Maybe for the meaning or the pronunciation. A ver, ¿quién me ayuda con el primero? En, des, en decirme algunas palabras ahí que les hayan costado. Surveillance. Ah, all right. Sur, surve, uh, surveillance is like vigilancia, Debbie. Surveillance. All right. Vigilancia. Ajá. Vigilancia. Vigilancia como de la seguridad. Vigilancia. Ajá, de estar vigilando. Ah, de ah, okay. observar. Ajá. All right, surveillance, very good. Another one, thank you. Re uh, reassuring. Reassuring, es como cuando usted se siente seguro o segura de algo. Le da, es, y ya lo vamos a explicar un poquito. Primero vamos a ver el significado de cada uno y luego vamos a darle como sentido a esas palabras dentro del párrafo. Reassuring es como estar seguro o segura de algo. All right, que usted se sienta cómodo, se sienta así como aquí no pasa nada mal. All right. Mm -hmm. Any other guys? Spooky. Yes. Spooky, spooky. Spooky es como que, como así, como tenebroso, como raro, como, uy, en serio. Que usted dice, uy, me están vigilando, se, se siente así como incómodo, mm. pero spooky es como algo de miedo. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ok, ok. Behavior. Comportamiento. Comportamiento. Okay. Thank you. Yep, very good. Anything else? The primer párrafo. Resilient teacher. Revolves. Revolves. Ah, revolves. Es como redunda o está alrededor de algo. All right. O es acerca de algo. Es, se refiere a algo. ¿Verdad? Es como que. Es, ¿A dónde estaba? Quiero ver. A revolves around. Ajá. Uh -huh. es, es como que se trata. Como valga la redundancia, ¿no? No. A ver, most no. discussion of technology and it's used revolves. Es como, es acerca de. All right. Ok. ¿Alguien, alguien, alguien más me decía de otra palabra y no logra escuchar. ¿No? Spooky. Spooky es como tenebroso. 
issue. Mm. Ah, un issue es como cuando decimos I have an issue es como un problema, una situación. All right. Any other? All right, veamos entonces. Eh, Teacher. Hola, hola. Re research. Ah, investigación. Me, okay. me assure. Me measures. Ajá, the research me mide, mide el impacto. La investiga las investigaciones miden el impacto. Ajá. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Me. Measure. 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 Ajá. All right, veamos el número dos. Uh, employee theft and fraud is a big problem. Leanlo ahí si tienen alguna palabra que ya escogieron. Low wages. Uh, low wages. Muy bien, Vane. Low wages es como un salario mínimo o bien pago. Theft. Okay. Theft. Theft es robo. Robo. Okay. Okay, anything else? Environment, no, pero environment. Environment es como el ambiente. A cer certain of mm -hmm. record donde dice has long been read girl no sé cómo se pronuncia ajá uh -huh. es como concerniente cómo se pronuncia ah uh, regarded Regarded. 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 Dígame, Vane, another one? Que se me trabó. ¿La escucho ahorita, Vane? Ay, que se me trabó la compu, pero perdone. Alright, veamos en el último. Prompting. Uh -huh. In this teacher, prompting. ¿A dónde está eh, Johnny? In the last line. Prompting customers. Ah, es como motivar. Activar. Motivar. Ah, ok. Thank you. Es como que lo motivan, lo impulsan, lo provocan. Uh -huh. And channel, cha, channel, ¿cómo se pronuncia eso? Channels, all right. Es como dirigir. Canalizar sería. Canalizar, ajá. Ok. All right. Entonces, con todas esas palabras que salieron un par. All right. Do we understand the paragraph? What is the paragraph about? What is this paragraph talking to us about? Voy a dejar de compartir aquí un segundo. A ver, what is the paragraph talking to us about? What is it? What is it saying? Any ideas? Daniel, ideas of what is the paragraph? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, the paragraph is talking about the surveillance of the employees. Mm -hmm. uh, specifically, specifically uh, the bartenders or the servers who reside 
uh, tip and gum and gum con how say, how say no informant yeah they don't how communicate don't how communicate with, with the with the general manager right they uh, uh, uh -huh. yes he's, uh, he's talking about the uh, for finance is um about the um a program what program to receive the tips to receive so, huh? receive receive the tips yes this is uh, how I, I understand about the paragraph excellent very good someone else can someone else tell me what is this paragraph about any ideas what is this paragraph talking to this whole uh reading what is it talking to us about Mariano, any ideas on the paragraph, the whole paragraph? Uh, the teeth. Uh, uh, what? How do you say? Teeth. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Seth. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Mariano? I don't know. Teacher. Right. teacher. Yes, Letty. Um, maybe can be an uh, article or or something. Yes. About something. Uh huh. And what is it about, Letty? No, maybe an article. An article. Article. An article. Yes. About what, Letty? Uh, when I'm writing something, and um, for for example, we are writing an uh, email, we are creating an article in a paragraph. Okay, yeah, very good, Letty. But what is the, the, the article that we just read, Letty? What is it about? The one that we just read from the book. All right, it's okay. I mean, so in this paragraph, guys, they are asked, they are talking to us about surveillance, all right, like to be watched. Now, I'm going to ask you a question, and this is for everyone, all right? In your jobs, do you have cameras that are watching you? Yes, no? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. teacher, in my, in my, in my yes. work. In a specific place, areas. Yes, we have a... a 80, 80 cameras. <laughs> yeah, you have surveillance in your jobs. Oh, uh, Walter, yes, you have in some areas? Yes, uh, a critical areas, uh, specific in manufacturing product. Ah, all right, very good, all right. What about Johnny in the school, Johnny? Do you have surveillance cameras? Do you have cameras in the school? In the morning in my school, mm -hmm. they aren't. But in the other, in the afternoon, uh -huh. uh, they are five, but only pasillos, I don't remember. Always? Always? Uh -huh. Always. Always, uh-huh. Only always, uh -huh. but in, in the office, office about teachers no okay all right very good ever in your company ever do you have cameras do you have surveillance no teacher we don't have cameras ah. yes right. the surveillance or surveillance what is, what is surveillance. yes we don't have cameras ah, okay very good what about manuel in your job manuel do you have No teacher, but I think but I think is the use use to the camera is very important and the and the different situation. Yes, okay, Manuel. Now this article, so let's voy a enseñar el primer eh, la okay. pregunta here. So you guys see it again. 
Y dice, is it spooky or reassuring? What do you think? Do you think to have cameras, o sea, vigilancia, surveillance in your jobs? Do you feel like a spooky or do you feel reassuring? ¿Se sienten seguros o se sienten así como, qué feo es estar, que me están vigilando todo el tiempo, así como hasta freaky, que uno dice, así como, ¿qué pasó aquí? How do you feel with that? Do you feel like it's a spooky or do you feel like it's reassuring? What do you guys think? For me, teacher, for me, teacher is reassuring. It's normal because okay. if, if I if if I have a, a good a good if I have a good a good good discipline, no voy a hacer bien. O sea, si hago mi trabajo, no hay problema. All right. No hay problema. Yes. All right. Very good. Anybody else? Manuel, creo que va a hablar o Debbie. No estoy segura. Hey, in my world, is human cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody is watching you, Domingo. All right. <laughs> All right. Manuel, do you think it's eh, eh, in my work don't use the camera, but is I think uh, I I think when you use the camera is I I I feel I feel sure. Okay. All right. All right. Very nice. Um Gabby, what about you? Do you feel surveillance is spooky? Or is it reassuring for you as an employee, as a woman, as a person? How do you feel about that? Reassuring. Reassuring because it's not just to avoid uh, staff or some employees. It's, almost, it's also a security, um, security, um, tema de seguridad for us because we all, almost the workers that are in the office, we are almost women. Women. Women, ah. Oh. Okay. Um, so um, just in case someone wants to um, stole or make us something, we have a uh, record. So right. I just for our safety too. Yes. All right. Very good. All right. Um, anybody else? Alguien se sentirá así como Do you think it's a spooky or everybody agrees that is uh, that is reassuring? Yes, sure. I think it's spooky. <laughs> Why, Mariano? Uh, because every time uh, alguien lo observa, no sé. How do you say? Someone is watching you all the time, Mariano. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay. So this is what the article is talking about, ¿verdad? Eso es el, precisamente de lo que habla el artículo que we just read about surveillance. Some people think it's spooky and sometimes people feel it's reassuring, especially right now. Acuérdense que todo el curso hemos estado como enfocándonos mucho en restaurants, ¿verdad? Entonces, hablando de restaurantes and the restaurant industry, this article tells us that there is a lot of theft. Hay mucho robo within the industry, all right? Because y ahí viene lo que preguntaba Vane, creo que fue, they, they have low wages, all right? Tienen como salarios bien bajos in the restaurants. So they tend to steal money, pero no es que roben, no es que roben el dinero así tal cual, ¿verdad? Sino que es como que decía ahí, por ejemplo, el, el, daba el ejemplo de los bartenders. De repente no cobran en el sistema una ronda de tragos, all right? No lo registran en el sistema, but, the, but people pay the money, right? Entonces es como que, mm, all right, so there's a lot of theft going on. Y si se fijan aquí, hablan de unas cifras así como a lot. Veamos acá, dice employee theft, all right? Entonces es un robo dentro, con los empleados, ¿verdad? Y fraude is a big problem. Estimated, estiman que llegan hasta 200 billion a year across the economy. All right. Obviamente, eso están hablando de Estados Unidos, ¿verdad? No de aquí. Most of the restaurant, no sé cuánto es, pero anyway. Most of the restaurant industry 
it servers pay it servers low wages and they quienes los empleados obviamente dependen de las propinas employee replacement is high entonces siempre están como reemplazando verdad despiden contratan despiden contratan entonces it's not very stable in that environment en ese entorno a certain amount of theft has a long being regarded as a normal part of the business. Entonces, pareciera como que ya es, cae dentro de lo normal y ya lo tienen como contemplado ese, ese, esa pérdida, ¿verdad? Así ya dice lo, el ejemplo de los bartenders. Luego dice abajo, but monitoring software, o sea, cámaras, in other words, is now available. All right, también ya es para las computadoras cuando registran todo lo que venden y tal cual. Uh, to track, para llevar un seguimiento de todas las transacciones. All right, and detect, mm, detectan qué? Patrones qué? Suspicious patterns, qué es suspicious? Esta palabra de... Sospechosos. Sospechosos, patrones sospechosos, ¿verdad? After the installation of monitoring software, Imagínense, dice acá, que después de la instalación de todo este software de monitoreo, el ingreso por restaurante, all right, increased, o sea, subió más o menos un porcentaje de $2,982 dólares por semana. Knowing they were being monitored, ¿quién? Los empleados, ya sabiendo que están siendo monitoreados, The servers not only pull back. All right, de repente ya dejaron de hacer sus estrategias, estas prácticas inusuales y anéticas, y no éticas, perdón. But also channeled, ¿verdad? De repente ya estaban como ofreciendo más, canalizaban como en su esfuerzo para motivar o hacer que el cliente compre más cosas. El, 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 um, el dessert, el, se me olvidó la palabra. Yes, dessert, help me. And I say, postre. Postre. thank you. <laughs> And the dessert or second beer. Entonces, ya se ven monitoreados y dicen, bueno, ya no puedo estar así como haciendo mis, mis truquitos. All right. Y a, lejos de eso, ya empiezas como a ofrecer otras cosas, ¿verdad? So the restaurant gets more money. Now, this is just an article. It's not, I'm not saying it's true. I'm not saying it's false. But it's important to look at the vocabulary here. All right? Veamos. Vamos a seguir con el manual acá. Vamos a ir a la, siempre a la misma página. Página 31, exercise 3. Y hay seis preguntas ahí. Tienen sus libros, ¿verdad? Tienen sus manuales. Yes? All right. Ahí hay seis preguntas. Wait, guys. Uh, why do people think surveillance is considered spooky? How many restaurants were part of the research? What is the estimated cost of employees, theft, and fraud? Hasta la número seis. Entonces, nos vamos a ir a trabajar en el ejercicio 3 de la página 31 y el ejercicio 4 de la página 32. Que estamos viendo surveillance, reassure, behavior, theft, wage, tip, and spooky. Todas esas palabras igual ya las dijimos. All right, so exercise three and exercise four, okay? Johnny, ya activé para que pueda compartir pantalla yo. No me río. Okay. <laughs> All right, veamos. Necesito que los niños y niñas que no pueden trabajar, yo sé que Trini no puede, Doris no puede, no sé si Vicky, Jorge, Leti y Carlita pueden, me avisan. Yo sí, teacher. Thank you, Vicky, thank you, Leti, okay? Eh, Carlita, no sé, ni Jorge. All right, voy a abrir igual. Si no puede participar, se queda acá. Ok, Carlita. Ejercicio 3 and exercise 4, please, guys. Let's go.
Hi, Gabby. Hi, teacher. All right, guys, everybody's now here with me. All right, so question number one, it said, give me a second, guys. Um, it said, why do people think surveillance is considered spooky? Why do you think some people may think it's spooky? Ideas? Yes, teacher. Because the people are not supposed to make you being watched. Ah, a ver, Daniel, muy bien. Solo que, ¿cómo sería el verbo, Danielito? Ese verbo. Um, uh, watch it. Watch. Puro watch it. Watch it. Mm -hmm. Por las vacaciones, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> ok, ok. Right, acuérdense que es watched, con T. Watch. Bueno, como... Watch. Uh -huh. Watched. All right. Watch. Now some people Watch. are scared to feel spooky. Very good. What about uh, anybody else? A ver, otro, alguien de otro grupo. Me too, teacher. teacher. Uh, Mariano and then Johnny. Ok, teacher. Uh, I think... Because some people feel harassed. Harassed? Harassed, Harass, yes. Ah, okay. Very good. All right, Johnny, why why else? The people is stressful uh -huh. because they feel watched all the time. Okay, very good. That, uh, Johnny, very nice pronunciation. Watched. Very good. Let's see, number two says, how many restaurants were part of the research? Do you remember how many restaurants? 392 restaurants. 392 restaurants, yes. All right, very nice. All right, number three, what is the estimated cost of employee theft and fraud? Two thousand billions a year. Billion, Debbie, or two hundred billion? Two hundred. Two hundred billions. All right. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. Number four. What is a fraud tactic used by bartenders? Anybody? What is a fraud tactic? Uh huh. They don't register, no sé cómo se dice, registran. Register? Uh -huh. they, they don't register for a round of drinks. Ah, very good, Debbie. Yes, they don't register a, a, a round of drinks. Very good. Okay. ¿Alguien más tiene diferente esa? No, everybody has the same. I right. just add, uh, even when the customer paid for them. Ajá. Uh -huh. All right, you added that. Very nice, Gabby. Thank you. All right. And number five, what was the increase of income after the installation of monitoring software? Esos números. Quiero ir yo esos números. The increase is was two, two, yeah, 2,982 dollars a week. $2,982 a week, right? Uh, number six, what was the change in behavior in the staff after the monitoring software was installed? Did people change? Did the servers change their attitude or their behavior or they continue the same? They changed. They, they changed. They changed. All right. However, how did they change? What did they do differently? Uh, because the, ser the servers not only pull it back on any unethical practice. Okay. All right. Anybody? Any? Anybody else about how they changed? All right, so besides, besides a stop, a stopping any unethical practices, what else do they do?
the service not only put back on on any only only ethical practice. Uh -huh, on ethical practices. Uh -huh. ¿Qué mm -hmm. más hicieron? They, uh, cambiaron. They changed. Prompting, prompting customer to have a prompting. different or second beer. Yes. All right. So they they offer uh, they offered more products to the customers. All right. Beers or dessert. Very good. Okay. Next part. It says building vocabulary. Lograron hacer esta parte también? Not no. Teacher. No. Not sure. No. So, 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 so. <laughs> so, all right, okay. No. ¿Saben qué? Los voy a mandar. Eh, yo creo que un, no termina, no les tarda mucho. Los voy a mandar para que logren terminar esa parte y luego tomamos la asistencia, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Seguimos en los mismos grupos. Let's go. Claudita, ¿puede participar Claudita en los grupos? All right, I guess not. Ok, Claudia, tranquila, gracias. No se preocupe, Claudita, no hay problema. Doris, ¿usted ya puede participar, Doris? Dorisita. Hi, teacher. Hi, ¿ya puede participar o todavía no? Ya merito, ya merito. La voy a mandar igual a la sala 3. Ya cuando usted puede, ya, ya. Le da clic ahí hoy. Vaya, mándeme. Ahí va con Debbie, de todas maneras. Ah, ah pues ahorita. Voy.
Hi guys, I'm sorry, my internet got stuck. No lo se podía sacar. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, where's everybody? But I'm here, I'm here. Oh. Sorry. Take, 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 your, take your time, take your time, no problem. Oh, I'm sorry, I no, no sé qué le pasa. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I'm stuck here. <laughs> All right. Sorry again. All right, let's let's work on this right now then. Let's just work on this. All right, so number one, Daniel surveillance. Which one is the... Okay. The number one is surveillance is the act of watching someone closely to detect a crime. All right, very good. Uh, to reassure Doris, what is number two? Ah, oh, no, Doris is in the same group. No, pero la tengo. I have it. I have it. Okay, fine, Doris. That's fine. <laughs> what is okay. the pronunciation? Is reassure. No, reassure. Uh, reassure. Uh -huh, reassure. Uh -huh. Reassure. And number two, reassure is to remove someone's the, the, the doubts and fears. Yeah, to remove someone's doubts and fears. All right, very good. Doubt. Doubt. Teacher doubts is duda. Yes. Okay. Yes, that is very nice. All right, what about number three? Who wants to do number three, guys? Anybody? The way someone acts. Maybe. The way someone acts, yes, that's behavior. What about theft, number four? The action or crime of stealing. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, the action of crime of stealing. Wage, number five. Alguien más que number five, wage. The amount of money paid to, be, to, paid to an employee. Excellent, very nice. What about number six, tip? To give a small to amount give, of to money give. to someone <laughs> who has service. provided a service. Very good, yes. To give a small amount of money to someone who has provided a service. And number seven, Spooky. Who has number seven? Something that's caused fear. Who's number seven? Something that causes fear? Something that causes fear of our nervous. Nervousness. 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 All right. Very good. Okay. So now we know what surveillance is. Reassure, behavior, theft, wage, uh, tip, and spooky. All right. Very good. Now, let's work on this. Um, I'm going to take the attendance right now anyway. Um, let's. We're going to start working on this here. All right. So lo vamos a hacer individual. En lo que estoy tomando la asistencia. Ahora right, ya les voy a explicar. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Carlos Eduardo Rivas. A ver, Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Thank you. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Evi Yasmín Girón Ramírez. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present. Ever de Jesús Candrae Montano. Present. Antonio Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present. Oh, yeah. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Carla Benacid Lara González. Thank you. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Stephanie Ramirez Abrego. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present teacher. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Ismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Julio César Vega. Present teacher. Thank you. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. Present. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. 
and Joanna Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. All right, guys, very good. So what we're, uh, what I want you to do is this right here. Aquí dice, write a 10 line paragraph, pero vamos a hacerlo más corto. Vamos a hacerlo de cinco líneas, pero contaditas, all right? Five line paragraph to say whether you are in favor or against employee surveillance at your workplace. Piensa en su lugar de trabajo. All right, va a escribir cinco líneas, all right, sobre si usted está a favor o en contra del employee surveillance at your workplace. State at least three reasons, all right? Tiene que dar por lo menos tres razones para apoyar su posición, ya sea que esté a favor o esté en contra. All right, let's start writing right now, please. Five lines. All right. Vamos a darles un minuto por línea, así es que a las zonas 25, a las y media exactas. Let's work on that right now. Necesitaban que compartiera pantalla o están bien así. Así está bien.
All right, is everybody finished? I only have four pictures. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. What about the rest of you? Manuel finished, Gabby, Vicky, Devi? Excellent. Yes. yes, all right, very good. Domingo finished, Walter, Ever? Teacher. I know, teacher. Okay, that's okay. All right, let's hear. Um, Daniel, you start. Tell us your um, ideas. What do you have? <gasps> Hello, teacher. Hi. I have a problem with my internet. Okay. I turn off the camera. Okay, uh huh. All right, maybe Daniel can get there later. All right, Johnny, do you have yours ready? So, so, teacher. Tell me what you have, please. I am in favor. Okay. Why? Be because, because if there is a stone in a car, we can see to the rover and call to the police. Okay. Police. The police. Uh -huh. uh, in the school, if a student, a student says about a teacher touched her. Ah, okay. We can check the camera okay. and tomar decision. I don't and know. Take, and take decisions or make decisions. Uh -huh. Yes, right. only that teacher. Okay, that's okay. Thank you. All right. What about um Ever? What do you have, Ever? Okay, I am a favor too, but I think that the truth is very, very necessary to your employees in the company, but that is not everything. Like, uh, and I call because um, to make a, a healthy work environment and, and sometimes uh, uh, we live or we have a pub, but uh, for any inconvenient or resolve any issue we can uh, have in the future or for any, uh, everything, things we have in the, during the day. Well, I don't know, that's it. Okay, all right, that's fine, thank you. Anybody else? Vane, Mariano, Domingo, Doris, who wants to tell us? Um, I'm... That's correct the pronunciation. Against. I'm against. Yes. Uh, okay. I'm against because I don't like to sur surveillance me. Ah, you're okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't <like> <laughs> Watch. Uh -huh. but, uh, but, but the pronunciation is surveillance. No, con L. Surveillance. Ah, surveillance. I surveillance. Yeah, see, I see. Okay, I, I'm engaged because I don't like to surveillance to surveillance me. My result talks about my work, and the employees have to exist trust is the better way to work. The environment is better when every when everyone is loyal and works between research objectives. Oh, okay, very good, very good, Doris. Thank you. All right, listen to two more, please. Teacher. Okay. Me, teacher. Okay, Mariano, then Vicky. Okay, teacher. I am, I'm not in favor of surveillance. Why? Of surveillance at work, uh, because workers need privacy to do their work, to do their jobs better. Uh, a worker need to feel truth from the bus. Mm. And the stress of being being washed, washed affect the work performance. Okay. All right, Mariana, I hear you. Very good. Thank you. Vicky, what do you say? 
In my case, uh, the security cameras is beneficial for both the company and that work and science. They can provide many benefits as long as they do not affect their privacy. And some of them can be job security, job performance, support, good perform, come to benefits, bad parties. All right, okay. I hear you, Vicky, very good. Uh, Vicky, la palabra es privacy. Cuando hablamos de privacidad. Privacy. Privacy, very okay. good. Yes, thank you. All right. No sé si alguien más quiere uh, leer lo que escribió. I'm not sure. Okay, Gaby, go ahead. Uh, it depends on the situation because sometimes it's a really good instrument to know the behavior, behavior of the employees when the boss is not in, in the office. And from time to time also help us to provide a review of the situation that could be managed in a different way or even better. Uh, also to keep safety for the personnel. In the other side should be a limit for the surveillance like not having this kind of monetizing in person led spaces like restroom or a rest or rest areas that's oh, all very good yeah similar to like what vicky right as long as they don't like they leave their privacy right it's fine all right very good gabby thank you all right guys very good let's go on then with the next page, and that would be unit four, que es donde tendríamos que estar ahora, on which we are. All right, num unit number four es la última que vemos. Acuérdense que este viernes es su uh, última clase. Para los que vienen nuevos, solo recordarles, bueno, comentarles, el viernes vamos a hacer una encuesta de satisfacción sobre el curso. All right, esa encuesta, si les llega, les va a ir llegando quizás miércoles, no la van a hacer solos o solas, la van a hacer conmigo en clase el viernes. Ahora, así que por más que quieran y que estén curiosos de hacerla, pues no, hace el viernes en clase. Ok, por fin. <laughs> All right. Um, unit number four, I will be able to identify training opportunities for personnel. All right. And number one, Walter, can you please help me read number one? Let's start. Yes, teacher. How to do, how do you identify the areas of opportunities that require personal training? Are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? Ah, all right. Thank you, Walter. So in this last unit, we're going to talk a little bit about training opportunities and training for like training opportunities for personnel or staff at your company or at any company, all right? Now, before we continue, let's read number two. It says read and practice the conversation. We have Alex and Rick. Alex says that this, the dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, oh, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server's training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the training, all right? so. Alex and Rick, they're talking about training the servers. All right, so let's look at that right now. Johnny, can you please be Alex? And Manuel, can you please be Rick? Okay. Okay. The dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. We asked me about training opportunities. Oh, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for next month and one for cashier. Performance this month was not so good. Some customer complained about having to wait for too long. 
Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. All right, very good, thank you. Let's see. Um, Letty, can you read Alex, please? And Vanna, can okay. you read Rick? The deal was your I hired a mom ago once to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include it, everything they need in their training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Very good, thank you. All right, then we're going to listen to the, the last two here. I'm done. All right. Daniel, can you read Alex? Please. And Debbie, can you read Rick? Okay. Okay. The dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Oh, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for the next month and one for a cashier performance. This month was not too good, was not so good. Some customers complain about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need, need a good training. Let's identify their, their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evalu evaluate the server after the training. Very good, thank you. All right, guys, let's see. Eh, acuérdense de estas cositas. Ya voy. Hold on, guys. I cannot use this for some reason. All right. Hold on. Estos verbos son importantes. ¿Se ¿Sí aprendieron los verbos en vacaciones? Hablando de eso. No. Excelente. No. <risa> vacation or vacation. Vacation. Yo sé. Esos verbos no salían. Yo los revisé. Right. <risa> A ver, creo que solo esos están. Acuérdense que cada verbo ya les mandaron el cuadrito, ¿verdad? ¿Quién mandó el cuadrito? Ever. Ever. Very good. A ver, ese cuadrito es clave, ¿verdad? Entonces, acuérdense que, por ejemplo, en el number one que acaba de subrayar, hired con D. El otro es promoted, asked, como que fuese T, complained, como que fuera D nada más, ¿verdad? Entonces, no es... Um, no sé, de alguna otra forma. Es así. Hired, promoted, asked, complained. Ok, so asegúrese de tener esa pronunciación más clara por ahí. A ver, um, la otra que estábamos viendo. Creo que la que nos costó a veces en algunas ocasiones es la última donde dice let's do that. 
And don't forget, we have to evaluate. Evaluate. Esta de aquí. No sé si hay otra que le cueste o you want to know the um, information or the meaning. Eh, no, 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 ¿cómo es? Knowledge. Eh, knowledge. Knowledge, yes. Knowledge. knowledge que viene de know como conocimiento, Domingo. Oye. Ok. Knowledge. knowledge. Very good, yes. ¿Algún otro? No. All right, let's work on this one right now, guys. Um, entendemos que es hired. Todos sabemos que es hired. Contratado. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, very good. Okay, so number one says, who is asking for a promotion? In this conversation, who's asking for the promotion? The dishwasher. The dishwasher. Number two, what did the customers complain about? What did the customers complain about? Some customer complain about having to wait for too long. Long. All right, having to wait for too long. All right, esperaron mucho. Number three, what staff will receive training? Servers uh, and cashiers. Yes, and cashiers. Yes. cashiers. Number four, what is steps will Alex and Rick take for the training? A skills and a knowledge. So very good. Yes. All right. Identify the skills and knowledge. They're going to identify skills and knowledge. All right. Very good. Here it says, vamos a ver esta parte de aquí. Number four, how do you organize training for your staff? Number the steps in the correct order. A ver, ahí tenemos analyze the job, decide skills and knowledge gaps, eh, que son como espacios en blanco, como cosas, um, ¿cómo se dice gaps? Oh, no. Googleamolo. No. Huecos. No. Thank you. Sí, sí, sí. Um, implement training. Identify personnel's current skill and knowledge. Evaluate performance after training. And the last one is identify training solutions. Entonces, para ustedes, ¿qué sería el, lo primero? ¿Qué sería el primer paso? Analyze the job. Evaluate performance. Yes. What do you think it is? I think it's analyze the job. All right. Okay. What about for the rest of you guys? Do you think number one, the step number same. one? Same. Analyze the job. Okay. What about number two then? Identify personal current skill and knowledge. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. You guys agree? Yes, identify person. Okay. Okay. Skills and knowledge. What about number three? Inside skills and knowledge. Implement training. Ah, Walter said implement training. Either Evaluate perform performance after training. Ah, pero ese sería después, sería el cuatro. Y el tercero, ¿cuál sería? Llevamos el primero que sería analyze the job. Number two, identify personal experience, skill, and knowledge. What about number three? Walter está diciendo implement training. Creo que Daniel decía decide skills and knowledge gaps. Yes. Because we have a... Uh, identify person. Ajá, uh -huh. we have a, a, the, the skill and knowledge. Of, of, of the person. O sea, tenemos los conocimientos de la persona y vamos a ver en qué lo podemos mejorar. Por eso lo vacío. Like vacíos, the gaps are like vacíos, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, and after that one, what would be number four then? Number four is identify. Training solution. Okay, 
Okay. Number five. Implement training and evaluate performance. Okay. All right. All right. So number one is analyze the job. Number two, identify personal experience, skill and knowledge. Number three, decide skills and knowledge gaps. Number four, identify training solutions. Number five, implement training. And number six, evaluate performance after training. Is that correct? Así nos quedó. Everybody agrees on that order? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Right. And accord. Yeah, you agree? Okay, now, I have a question for all of you guys. In your jobs, do you receive trainings? And if, if so, if yes, what kind of trainings and how often do you receive trainings? Yes, teacher, in my workplace, I receive uh, uh, training in, in every, I'll say, every year, I receive, uh, how, how, how say, reinforcement, or, or, como sería una, um, como le damos un recordatorio, refreshment. refreshment, yes, and we'll see, mm -hmm. well, every year. Every year, Daniel. Yes. Okay, very good. What about the rest of you guys? Do you receive trainings? And if so, how often? Davi, never trainings? No? Okay, all right. What about the rest of you? Vani, do you receive trainings at your workplace? I think one is frozen. Uh, Johnny, Doris, Mariano, Debbie, Ever? In my case. Yes, in my. <laughs> That's okay. No respect, uh... Uh, yes, in, in my work, I receive uh, training when we have a new product. Ah, all right. Very good. Mariano, sorry, what were you going to say, Mariano? In my case, I, I don't receive the. the... Training. Okay. Okay, very good. Domingo, in your job, do you receive trainings? Um, my company is training, but it's in. How do say? Um, safety. Uh, safety. Safety. Safety, but no. No sé si es safe, pero es safe um, is the, is the, lo, lo reglamentario de, de, de la ley, ¿cómo se Like the law, like policies. Uh -huh. uh, the policies, uh -huh, the policies. Ah, all right, okay, very good. Ever, trainings in your workplace? No, teacher. Hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Do you have training? Yes. Uh, yes, in my case only for the from the part of the like uh, Dirección General de Aduanas or the DMA, uh, only to the update the procedures to make to the different uh, things to the import or the make to some in inscription out of the different product around two, six months or one times or years, I think. All right, okay, I hear you, okay. All right, very good. Johnny, in your school, do you receive trainings at school? Mm. On Saturdays. Oh, really? Yes. And what is uh, it about, about? Uh -huh. about different temas? Topics? Different topics. For example, uh, virtual education. Uh -huh. Okay. And, and how, uh, how we can use many programs 
in, in, in education. Okay, all right, all right, very good. Okay, all right, let's check this right now before we go. Yes, I'm casi terminar. So here we have this one, number five, page 34. It says building vocabulary. All right, match uh, these terms related to training and personal development to their meanings, all right? We have goal, feedback, budget, knowledge gap, coaching, and qualifications. What do you guys think is a goal? It's like the target. It's a target, yes. All right, it is very good. But in this, um, in these descriptions or meanings, Doris, what would it be? The process of improving the performance of an employee. I don't know. I desire a sort of possible outcome. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, I think so too. Number one goal is a desired result or possible outcome. That would be your goal. All right, usted tiene algo con un resultado que usted espera, que desea, que ese sea el final, ¿verdad? De, de todo el proceso, so that's your goal. What about number two, feedback? What would be number two? Helpful information or performance. Walter, you said helpful information or criticism about the performance of a person. Yeah. Yeah, that's give that's feedback to give helpful information or positive criticism about the performance of a person. All right, hagamos otra más. Budget, what is a budget? An estimation of income and expenses. Mm -hmm. an, esti an estimation of income and expenses. Very good. What about knowledge gap? An irregular balance of what that person should know. I don't know, Mariano. What does knowledge gap mean? It's like un vacío de conocimiento. I'm a real to Mariano too. Huh? And um, a qualified made someone applicable for a particular job? No. No. no that's not it. What did what did uh, Mariano what was what did you say? An irregular balance of what a person should know. All right, yeah, okay, that sounds fair. Yeah, I was thinking of balance as in budget or balance sheet, that's why I like associated, but I think you're right. An irregular balance of what a person should know. All right, but they don't know. Por eso es un, un knowledge gap, hay un vacío de conocimiento ahí, very good. Uh, coaching, what would be coaching? The process, the process of, of improving, improving the performance of an employee. Very good. And qualifications would be? A quality a that makes make someone suitable for a particular goal. Excellent. Very nice. All right. No se preocupe. Igual mañana vamos a regresar con eso solo para recordar what was the end. Right here. Voy a dejar de compartir. I'm taking attendance right now so you guys can go. Pueden empezar, obviamente, a trabajar en la unidad 4. Esa unidad 4 tiene que estar terminada para jueves. Porque viene ya nuestro último día. Adelante, con suegra. Voy a lavarse los dientes, Ponce Pía. Sí, mi amor. Adán Caso, Adán Caso. Gómez. A lavarse los dientes. All right, Daniel Antonio Luna. 
Pues es un teacher, ya me la ven los bien. Kevin Desmín Girón Ramírez. Pues. Domingo Alexander González. Presente. ¿Cómo la molestamos, David? Sorry. Sandra de Montano, y ahí está riéndose la chiquitina. All right, very good. Thank you, Weber. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Gracias, Claudita. Presente. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Carla Benacipana González. Thank you. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present teacher. Leticia Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Temuí. Present teacher. Y Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Luis Mar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present teacher. Julio César Vega Aguilar. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. Present. Victoria Maria Vasquez Juarez and Joanna Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. All right, guys, thank you so much. Hoy le tocaba a Bismarck, pero no está. All right, I'll see you all tomorrow, guys. Por favor, sigan avanzando en su plataforma. Y si reciben la encuesta de satisfacción, no la hagan, la hacemos juntos el viernes. All right, thank you. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night, rest. Bye, Jorgito. Bye. Allá me dicen adiós. Hola, señorita. Bye, teacher. Bye, Jorgito. ¿Cómo se llama? Bye, Debbie Junior. Debbie Junior. Debbie Junior. Good night. Yes. Adiós, tío. Adiós. Chao. Bye. Bye. Bye.